Can you smell what the rock is cooking? <laughs> I can. And he's cooking in there. Because you know what he's cooking? He's cooking XFL. Roughnecks. Houston Roughnecks. Here. The TDECU Stadium. U of H campus. U of H. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. We're here. Brought the family. We're going to check out this game. Game one. Season one of the third generation of XFL. Hey, look, Maria. Hi, Chickaline. He's wearing his purple LSU. Big LSU fan, apparently. But yeah, here we are. Check it out. There's people already lined up to get inside. You see him? Hold on, let's get closer. They're right there. People. So, we're gonna check it out. Family didn't know we were coming. It was a total surprise. That's what I do, I surprise them. So let's go ask Coach Oman what he thinks of the situation. Hey Coach, what do you think? Think we're number one? Yeah, he says we're number one. Yeah, yeah, rough mix. Ooh, exciting, exciting. So like I mentioned, the game is being played on the U of H campus. That's why it's the U of H Stadium. It's a beautiful stadium, by the way. Come and watch all the football games. For a while, after COVID, it's kind of a little hard. <laughs> kind of, like you said, roll tight because he's wearing on a suit. Um, but it got a little hard after that, but I'm excited to be back here. <laughs> Roughnecks. I've been excited since they announced that we were play, so I got online, got tickets, and here we are. Apparently, so all these people, and the people over there, they're waiting to get on the field, so that wasn't online. But I think this is online. It's gonna be awesome. Yes, and, and, I hear The Rock's gonna be here. Dwayne Johnson, Dwayne The Rock Johnson's gonna be here. That's why I said that, can you smile what The Rock? Yeah, you'll get it, you'll see him. We're here, Ben. We're giving away rough neck rally towels. Oh yeah, so here, there's the field. I'm a little disappointed with the designs on the field. Like I was watching the game on TV, like the Renegade game, and the XFLs, all they put in the middle, and the end zone's very like weak. I know that it's not their stadium, so I, I guess I get it. The fields are built for several designs. I mean, why not make it flashy? I mean, you're, you're a flashy league. This is what you're all about, is just being flashy and kind of kind of weak. I mean, it says Houston Roughnecks, yeah, but it's blah. And the XFL logo, blah in the middle. I mean, you could have done something with it. I mean, that's just my opinion. That's my, that's my first take as of right now. We'll let you know everything as the game, game goes by and everything. I mean, some of the branding is pretty cool. Like, like I said, that is cool. I mean, it does look like the Eastern Oilers. That's what he said. It looks like the Eastern Oilers. It's kind of the idea, but it's not really because they can't use the Eastern Oilers. But see, that's cool branding. But this over here, let's go over here. I mean, check this out. Let's get closer. By the way, there's a red carpet. <laughs> I just walked on the red carpet. That looks weak. I mean. I don't want to say anything bad about the team, but the league should make it flashy. You're a flashy league. It's cold. We decided to get some coffee. Hello? Not sugar. They didn't have sugar. How do you have coffee, but you don't have sugar? Again, I'm a little disappointed walking in. It's just, it shouldn't be this way, guys. I mean, yeah, no. We're in our seats. Ah, check it out. Check out the view. There's some good seats. I ain't gonna lie about that. The price was $26 per ticket. Not bad. Great seats. I mean, the stadium itself doesn't have a bad area, in my opinion. But that's not really an XFL situation. That's a stadium situation. So I'm not gonna gripe about that. Great view. I mean, awesome. We're close. It's just the other stuff. It's, it's the little things, people. It's the little things that they sometimes go a long way with your fans. And if you're gonna do something and you wanna do it big, you gotta do it right. She's cold. 
She cold. She's not trying to get sick. She's been coughing lately. So I brought the scarf. I brought the scarf so she doesn't get cold there. He's probably going to get sick. Because he didn't bring a jacket, like I told him. We're having fun, people. I don't want to grab too much. I'm here to have fun. Show you a little bit about what the XFL is here in Houston now. Because I got them a blanket and a sweater. Check out the sweater. Show your sweater. And a blanket. I said it was cold. I got me too. I got some stuff too. You know, oh, you know. Before we go, continue. Let's. Hey guys, we're a one through seven here. He's not cold because he's eating. <laughs> but the team's on the field. The game's about to start. I'm waiting for the special gift, which apparently she knows about already. It's supposed to be a surprise. Let's get controversial place. There was an interception that was called the touchdown. I thought he was talking about the game, talking about LeBron James. Where they fouled him, but he's not even fouled him. I don't know. Anyway, first controversial play. There was an interception by the Houston Roughnecks. They called that a touchdown by... Who they playing? Renegades? No. They reviewed it, they took their time, the review looked like it was an interception, but they could play it stands as called. And Maria is cold. I like it. Sexy eyes. <laughs> Just scored their first touchdown. First touchdown, they're going for one. They're going for one. They're going for two or three, and they're going for one. They don't need that. He says they don't need the two or three. People want them to go for three. Seems that's why they didn't go for three, because they were going to make the first one. They go for two. They went for one, and they didn't get it. Next one, 33 to 12. 
I was getting close at the end. <laughs> I'm kidding. Wasn't even close. But it was a good game. Fun game. Uh, probably better than the Texans game. I ain't gonna lie to you. It was a lot better than the Texans game. A lot more entertaining. Uh, there's a few things that, you know, need some work. No halftime show, no nothing at halftime, you know, entertainment, get the people in there still. A lot of just fan cam, but other than that, I think it's pretty cool. She had fun, which is very important. He had fun, which, you know, there. So, remember, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Ring the bell. Ding, 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 ding. There he is. Ding, ding, ding. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.